Every single time people see it for the first time, you get this ridiculous response. There is like an element of their brain is not computing what they're seeing. My name is Richard Browning. I'm the founder and chief test pilot from Gravity and we build and fly these thousand horsepower jet suits. So since I suppose getting the technology to work, actually getting a flight system to, to lift a human being off the ground, arguably the bigger challenge was then scaling that technical achievement into an actual successful commercial entity. And we've been on that journey for now slightly over four years, including during COVID. So I've always loved that journey of seeing a, an idea, a concept, and then building creating, often failing, but eventually arriving at an outcome that you've actually created. Especially if people say that maybe that can't be done or it's unlikely, you know, it's always really quite fun to drag something through multiple failures to get to ultimate success. And I suppose I became a real admirer of what the human machine, the human mind and body can achieve. And so you put all that together and I hatched this idea of could you reimagine human flight, not by sitting on top of or being strapped to a flight vehicle, what if you became as far as possible the flight machine and just added the missing component, which is horsepower? You know, could you use that human brain for balance and that body for the flight structure? That was the inspiration. Originally, the first prototype suits were fully hand-built out of DIY store aluminium, and they were bashed together and riveted together because the best solution while doing those early tests was to build the fastest possible thing we could build and actually verify the idea. And we started looking at joining tubes together with 3D printed parts, but it made most sense that we built the entire suit as a single or a few printed parts. So it makes it much easier and quicker to print, and it makes it much easier for us to assemble because it's large, fully custom parts. You know, initially we had this idea that you could on paper, get a human being off the ground by adding together enough of these small micro gas turbines, having tested them quite extensively and realized that they would work for the purpose of this. But where do you attach them? I mean, an example of a failure was having three on each arm. I mean, in theory, the vectoring principle of moving your arms and controlling the thrust was working, but the sheer weight and power of that was, was too much. And actually, in hindsight, it wasn't a three-legged tripod like we have now. You have the rear engine and each arm. That works beautifully because it's a stable structure. We were missing the thrust on the back, but we didn't arrive at that first of all. The actual first step after realizing three on each arm didn't work was to put them on the legs. And the first flight in 2016 was achieved by having an engine on the back of each leg. It did work, but it was ludicrously complex and would destroy the ground if you had the thrust so close to the surface. So, you know, it, it's all about just trying something, making sure that downside is not terminal to your journey, and then iterating and improving. The core two parts of the software that we use really are the core parametric design section, and we're actually designing the parts, and Visualize is fantastic because while we're reviewing each design with the team, especially the new ones that we're trying to make re look really cinematic and movie-like because part of designing a jet suit is you've got to make it look cool. So we'll use Visualize to do a quick render of it, show it to people, and everyone can give their view on both the design and how the thing's actually looking. So I actually first learned CAD on SolidWorks and I've used it ever since. Uh, and that's the software I am the fastest at using. Uh, and what we do at Gravity is iterate and develop the suits very quickly. So we're testing and printing a load of new parts every day. So me being fast at designing is really important. So most of what we do is assembly and all of that design process now takes place in SolidWorks where we will design it for manufacture. The whole point is we're making this as productized as possible for something that is running five turbo jet engines on the human body. You know, I think it's all credit to SolidWorks for building a platform that allows you to turn uh, a very sophisticated now three-dimensional idea into something that can be digitally represented and then drive, you know, the wonderful miraculous technology of 3D printing to create that. I mean, it's I, I would, I do struggle to imagine a world where we could have advanced so quickly without uh, CAD software, you know, particularly your SolidWorks work system. Being on the Entrepreneur Programme has been brilliant and it's allowed us to actually focus most of our funds towards developing the suit and getting more iterations of the pack. Um, because every time we 3D print, it's a rather large scale print, so we can actually focus on really iterating and improving the jet suit.
in terms of advice for you know budding entrepreneurs who want to uh, turn an idea into a successful business, I mean, firstly, it is a hard journey. You will have more failures than you will have successes. You just have to make those failures recoverable. It's about identifying how you can test your idea as quickly as possible, take the learnings from if it turns out to not be the, the best answer, the best pathway, and then quickly move on to the next one. And if you get through as many of those learning journeys as, as you can, as painlessly as possible, you will eventually navigate your way through to success.